You know, I would say that I just always wanted to do this. There was never, you know, the moment where I said, oh, look at this, maybe this is the right profession for me. And I always just kind of dreamt about the day that I would be working in this line of work. My name is Greg Slade, and this is Slade's Barbershop. So anyways, I moved here to Chicago and I couldn't find any barber shops that I wanted to work at. I figured if I was gonna work at a chain that I'd like to work right here in Lakeview. I love this neighborhood. But uh, I never really wanted to do the corporate thing. Uh, I'd rather be in a real barber shop, not anything that tries to play itself off to be a salon. And I, I was trying to figure out my next move and I found a spot for rent. And uh, I, I said to myself, I bet that would make a really good barber shop. I'd say the atmosphere here is that uh, there is a little bit of chatter going on. Sometimes it's just between the, the barber and his customer. Sometimes it's everyone in the room gets involved. I kind of like the dynamic here more where the entire shop can be involved in the conversation. Anything that someone can ask for, I've done it. Certainly some of the crazy stuff I've been asked for throughout my career is uh, I did have one guy who wanted a fryer haircut, which means that there was like a circle of hair just like cut out. I had another one where there was just a ring of hair. I've done by hawks and fry hawks. In general though, like usually when people come in with lots of hair and they just suddenly want a ton of it cut off, that, that usually... Would, would probably account for the most extreme things that happen here. I typically start by talking to the customer, figuring out what they want, what they envision. Some people can tell me in very few words what they want, and I know exactly what they want. Other people, it's almost like extraction, trying to figure out what it is that they actually want. And I, I always tell people, just tell me as much as you want me to know, I'll listen. When I'm cutting someone's hair, I want the customer just to feel relaxed, if it's a longer cut with some sort of style to it, then usually I kind of push the hair into that sort of shape and kind of get it to lay roughly that way so that I can kind of envision it as I work along. And I'm looking at the haircut from every angle and I'm making sure it's styled exactly the way uh, either the customer's going to style it or, or how I envision that it should be styled. I'd say one of the most fascinating things about hair is the texture of it. Uh, and everyone's hair is a different texture and uh, depending on what length it is, uh, it feels different, it looks different, it will lay different, it can be styled different. And uh, I think one thing that's so cool about hair is, uh, you know, you can go and buy yourself a, an outfit and uh, when you wear that particular outfit, then you have that look. But with your hair, once you get your hair cut, I mean, that's how your hair is gonna look. And, until it substantially grows out or until you get it cut again. We're very fortunate in this neighborhood that a lot of people do value a good quality haircut. And it really drives our business because people know that they can rely on coming here and getting a good quality cut. I feel like my customers leave happy all day long and I, I feel good knowing that.